Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is a little bit different. Um, this is going to be a recommendations video of my favorite Christian fiction romances. I did like the anonymous ask me questions thing on Instagram and this topic came up and people were asking me what my favorite Christian fiction books are. I actually got a crazy amount of DMs about it and so I figured I would just go ahead and make a video to share with you my favorites. Now I am going to preface this by saying most of these I haven't read in years, so like keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to recommend you what was my favorite back when I was widely reading this genre, but you guys see my wrap-ups. Granted, I've been pretty bad about wrap-ups this year, but you see my Goodreads, whatever. You know that I'm not really reading this genre anymore. Um, not because I don't want to, just this is really what got me into romance. Like I, high school, all of high school and through a lot of college, I was reading Christian fiction romance. All of these that I'm going to recommend to you are romances. Um, they just obviously are more like clean. They, there's no <laughs> no steamy scenes in them. Um, anyway, so that is kind of what got me into the genre and I still love it. I still it's, have a special place in my heart for these books and there are several books in this genre that I have on my shelves that I still want to read. I just there are other books that I want to read more. Um, so, but I will get to them at some point. I do still want to read them. I do enjoy them. I just also have kind of struggled with prioritizing YouTube because I thought that there were not a lot of people that wanted to hear about these kinds of books. And granted, I'm sure this video is going to be like the least watched video on my channel and that is fine. Um, so like that's kind of why I don't necessarily always gravitate toward the towards these books as well this genre is because I have a YouTube channel and I read to recommend you guys books and so I want to recommend you books that a large majority of the people that watch me want to know about but if there's a ton of you that want to know these then I obviously will go back to reading and recommending more of these anyway that is enough rambling a long enough intro let's go ahead and get started so the first book I feel like is kind of a classic. I'm sure you've heard about it. Um, it has been talked about on YouTube and Instagram quite a bit this year. Um, and a lot of that might have something to do with the movie. So that is Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. I will say, if you have seen the movie, read the book. I didn't love the movie, but the book is one of my all-time favorites. This is a romance set in California in 1850. And it starts with this little girl being sold into basically like sex slavery into sex work and the beginning of this book is very rough you watch her being put in all kinds of situations that she should never be put into much less as a child and it is hard to read it it is but the love story in this is so good so she grows up and is still in this world and is a sex worker and what is his name Michael comes and pays for time with her and is instantly captivated by her and basically God tells him like you're gonna marry this girl and he's like are you crazy like how am I gonna marry this girl and the book is so much better than the movie I don't know if you can see like in bold that's God speaking to Michael like she's fighting for you the only way she knows like it just it's so beautiful the way that Michael continually goes back to get her she keeps running away and he continually goes back to get her showing her that he loves her um, because God is constantly pushing him to do this and reminding him of that this is based on Hosea from the Bible and how God continually pursued Hosea um, and it is just such a beautiful book. Okay, and then we have the Lineage of Grace series by Francine Rivers. I do not have these to show you. I owned them. I gave them to my sister to borrow and she says she doesn't have them. So I don't know where they went, which is kind of a bummer because I have the old like little bitty hardcovers that they don't make anymore. <laughs> anyway, these are five books about five women in the Bible and they are based on like the true stories in the Bible. But there is like fictional elements in there as well. So like this is based on Hosea, but is like kind of loosely based on it, right? The Lineage of Grace series is much more, there's much more truth in it, but there is fictionalized elements as well. Or at least we assume they're fictional. It's stuff that we don't necessarily know if it happened or not because it's not in the Bible. Um, 
So it is basically each of these women's romances and their life and it's so good. It was hard to remember as I was reading them that they were fiction because like it's just fun to to read that side of things. Um, but I loved the series when I was in high school. I think I read them in like an afternoon. Like all five of them. They were so good. Okay then we have Erin Mangum. She was like my favorite author all through high school. So I am going to preface this by saying I haven't read these since high school. <laughs> but if you're looking for like a Christian fiction rom-com, kind of like Chiclet, I would check this author out. I will say she is probably more on the like preachy side than most of these other ones. Like in here you see the main character like having her devotional time, her Bible study time, spending time with the Lord. And like, I love that. But if that bugs you, maybe don't read these. Um, so anyway, so my favorite series by her and the first series that I read by her is the Lauren Hallbrook series. So the first three books that were originally the only three books were Mismatch, Rematch, and Match Point. There are now two more books which I have not read. So it's Bake Me a Match and Match Made. I haven't read these. I do know that these first three books follow the same like main character. These, based on the name of the back, it doesn't look so look like it does, so I'm not sure. Um, but this is the story of Lauren Hallbrook who is addicted to coffee and works at a photography shop I'm pretty sure and basically she is matchmaking all of her friends and so in each book you kind of get another couple's romance because you see her match up another couple um, but then it is her with her best friend throughout the whole series and she falls in love with him in the process I really loved this series talking about these books is making me want to reread all of them um so anyway I yeah I loved the series it was definitely more of like a chiclet rom-com type of a type of a series and yeah okay next up is the probably the author that I still read from the most in this genre and that is Denise Hunter. So the first book I, th I think this is the first book I ever read from her was The Convenient Groom and I think this was the first Marriage of Convenience story I ever read. I was obsessed um, and I obviously still love that trope. So so Kate Lawrence is a celebrity marriage counselor and she's about to get married but she has been left at the altar and Lucas Wright offers to stand in for the missing husband to be and marry her and she agrees and like her parents come to visit and anyway I remember loving this book I remember where I read like I was on an airplane I don't remember where I was going but I remember being on an airplane and like couldn't put this book down it didn't want to get off the airplane until I was done with it like I remember devouring this um so most recently from Denise Hunter I have read the Bluebell Inn series I read this in the last couple years or so and that's a great series as well um she is probably like my favorite current or like my still that I still read um a Christian fiction author that is like contemporary I would say the majority of the Christian fiction that I read was historical which you are about to see so I find I I found that a lot of the contemporary romances were very preachy and like I said I didn't mind that but sometimes they were over the top which bo did bother me or it was very chiclet feeling like there was less romance it was more of like almost like women's fiction but like in a chiclet funny type of way and I didn't love that even back then back before I knew those terms knew what that was um so yeah that's why I I mostly stuck with the historical side of things so next up I don't remember much about this one but I do remember loving it and that is Catching Katie by Robin Lee Hatcher this author I'm pretty sure is a really big author in this Christian fiction world um, I know she is committed to fighting women for the cause of women's suffrage um, she has no time for romance especially not with her best friend Ben Rafferty but her column shows up in his newspaper and it stirs things up and sparks begin to fly Ben is set on winning Katie over but she is just as determined to stay true to her feminist ideals anyway I like I said don't remember anything about this but I do remember really enjoying it I seriously want to read all these books now when do I have the time to reread books <laughs> just kidding okay I mean 
kind of, not really. Next we have Love at Any Cost by Julie Lessman. Cassidy is an oil heiress who was jilted by a fortune hunter and she travels to visit with her wealthy cousins in San Francisco to help her get over being jilted. She has just settled in California when Jamie McKenna, a handsome pauper looking to marry well, captures her heart. Um, can love prevail when Jamie discovers that Cassidy is poorer than he is and can Cassidy ever learn to fully trust her heart to a man? Um, I know this is a Gilded Age romance and that's about all I remember about it. I do have the next two books in the series out from the library. I, I really do want to read this series. Okay. Next up we have The Callahans of Texas. I'm not sure if these are historical or contemporary. They look like maybe they were contemporary. So we have Jenna's Cowboy. They've changed the covers on these and I honestly think the new covers are significantly worse. Um, this is the, obviously the old cover. So we have Jenna's Cowboy. The middle one was Emily's Chance, I think, and then the third one is Megan's Hero. I don't remember anything about this, but if you like cowboy heroes, like a series that follows a brothers, I think they're brothers pretty sure they're brothers. Um, check it out. Okay, and then I can't find this one. It might be my parents' house. We have a change of, no, I have this. Where is this? I see it. I see it on my bookshelf. Okay, so we have a change of fortune by Jen Toronto. I don't remember anything about this one either. Um, after losing her family, her fiance, and her faith, her disappearance of her fortune is the last straw. Now, masquerading as Miss Eliza Sumner, governess at large, she's, term she's determined to find the man who ran off with her fortune, reclaim the money, and head straight back to London. I do remember lying this book. Yeah, I don't really know. This video has been so enlightening, I know. I'm so sorry that I don't remember anything about these books. I will pick up more books, and I will read them. And I will recommend them to you when I know more about them. Anyway, last I've tried to talk about this last author four times. But first I didn't have a book. Then my camera died. Then my memory card was full. Here we are. Okay, so my favorite author in high school was Aaron Mangum. My other favorite author was Karen Whitemire. Aaron Mangum was contemporary and Karen Whitemire was historical. I was obsessed with Karen Whitemire. My favorite two that I don't remember anything about but that I remember loving and I'm pretty sure were probably her first two are Short Straw B Bride and Head in the Clouds. If you really I think these are a great entry point into historical romance. So if you like Christian fiction, you want to read historical romance and you don't know where to start, start with this author. I really loved these. Um, anyway, so that is it. Like I said, I'm sorry I don't know a lot about a lot of these books. It's been years. Like, I graduated high school 12 years ago and I was reading a lot of these during high school. So it's been like 15 years. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you read the synopsis of some of these books that sound interesting to you and like them if you choose to pick them up. Um, but thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.